Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Stagey here. And for those of you who are new, I thank you and I welcome you here as well. Do not forget to hit that subscription button as well as that notification bell so that way you'll be notified each and every single time your girl uploads a new video. So without further ado, this video that we have right here is going to be my version of an everyday makeup look. Now, let me first apologize, okay? Because this look right here has been highly requested for some time now, and I really do apologize, like all seriousness, I do apologize because I asked y'all what would y'all like to see. You asked for an everyday makeup look, and I'm extremely late with it. So again, I'm really sorry about that, um, but I promised y'all in my last video that I will definitely have this video uploaded next for you guys, and yeah, here it is. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. This video will be very detailed. So if you want, get you a pen, get you some paper, baby, because yeah, you want you might just want to take some notes. Now, all the products that I will be using, I will definitely let you know. I'm not going to just be skimming through the video. I'm going to try to have some parts in real time as much as possible so you can kind of work with me a little bit. And um, all of the products used will definitely be listed down below in the description box for you guys. So just in case if you want to go out and purchase some of these items yourself, you can definitely do that. So yeah, again, I thank you guys so very much for tuning in today. And don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe. Okay, so first we're going to be starting off using the Instant Lift Brow Pencil by e.l.f. Now these pencils retail for about $2. You can find these at your local drugstore like Walmart, Ulta Beauty. I'm sure there's tons of other places that sell e.l.f. products, but those are just the two places I typically purchase mine from. So what I love about this pencil is obviously it's very affordable, $2. You definitely cannot beat that. But also one side is the pencil while the other side is the spoolie. And you will always need both tools whenever doing your brows now I love for my brows to be very natural with a hint of drama like a combination of the two if that makes sense so I use this pencil to lightly very lightly fill in my brows and create a bit of an arch so um yeah and the spoolie just blends it right on out and here's the before and there's the after so next moving on to concealer i'll be using my favorite concealer which is the l'oreal infallible full wear full coverage concealer that is in the shade 415 honey now pause everything i'm using in this video is my favorite okay so i'm not even gonna keep saying my fave this my fave that everything i'm using from the products down to the tools are my favorite like my brushes and stuff everything is my fave so yeah back to the concealer this concealer retails for about ten dollars you can find this at your local um drugstore as well and if i had to compare this to a higher end concealer i'd say Too faced born this way those two concealers are very similar um in texture except this one is very um is a little more thick yeah, it's very thick compared to the, the um, Born This Way. Now, the Born This Way used to be my favorite concealer. And that one retails for about $35 to $40, which is definitely expensive compared to this little $10 concealer. But when I tell you the finish of this one is amazing, I am sold. I will forever be a customer to L'Oreal, okay? I love it. It is just it's just perfect. It dries really matte. So I love the finish of it. Now, speaking of the finish, I am using the Real Techniques um deluxe crease brush. Now, this helps to blend out this concealer very effortlessly. This is supposed to be an eyeshadow brush, you guys, but I have never used it for that purpose. I always use it to blend it out. As you can see, it does an amazing job. Now, this came in a kit of five brushes, including one beauty blender, and I think the whole kit retails for about $20, and you can find that at Walmart as well. So here is the before and after. Next, you do not want to miss this step. You must prime your face whenever you are using foundation. It is just a us. This is the Sephora Mattifying Primer. It retails for about $12. It is amazing for oily skin, okay? Amazing. Now I'm going to be taking my I Am Magic Foundation by Juvia's Place in the shade 150. Kano, a little bit goes a very long way, you guys. So that's why I just tried to show y'all how much I used on my hand. Now this foundation does retail for about $20, but baby, when I tell you, in my eyes, it is worth much more. Now, I'm not telling Juvia's Place to go up on a price. I'm not telling them to do that at all, but I'm just saying, honey, this is worth more than $20, okay? For those of you who love full coverage, who love that soft, dewy, but matte finish, this is the perfect foundation for you. 
I have I have never ever found a foundation that gives me as much coverage that feels this good on my skin that doesn't break me out. I mean, the list goes on and on. I can brag and rave all day about this foundation. Again, if you have not gotten your hands on it, it is only $20. You can purchase it from Ulta as well as the Juvia's Place website. And sometimes Juvia's Place, their website, they have like 50% off sales. So you can get these as low as $10. And whenever they sell or whenever they don't sell for $10, best believe I'm racking up getting about four or five of them. Like I love it just that much. The texture is real velvety. Like I said, it is just perfect. I really do love it. So next I'm going to be highlighting my face, the... um. You know, those little key areas under the eyes, forehead, bridge of the nose, yada, yada, yada. And I'm using the same um, concealer from earlier. Okay, so one thing I want to point out before I move on to the next step, as y'all can see, we have the foundation and the concealer done and complete, but this is just an extra step that I personally like to do that takes zero time or effort, okay? I just take my foundation brush again with no additional product and simply tap that area. Just tap. Not underneath the whole entire eye but you can already see the difference the, those couple of taps you can already see the difference now i don't take it underneath the whole eye but i do like to take it over the whole entire chin as well as the mouth area i just take it along the edges and just dab to where though you are not taken away the um the highlight you aren't doing that at all but at the same time you are i guess you could say making it look a little bit more natural i'm going to go ahead and take my laura mercier um translucent setting powder and first i am going to i'm gonna do my under eye with the beauty blender the side that was untouched but before i do it i always like to look up with one eye Dab though, like dab underneath it. Get that area nice and smooth again. Kind of throw it off a little bit. And boom. Go underneath that eye. Kind of pack that in there. Now, I'm not a baker. I do not bake. Is there anything wrong with baking? Not at all. To each his own. I just do not bake, okay? I like to just press it into the skin. Now, this step is definitely optional. I want you guys to see how you can already look at my face and you can see somewhat of a contour. Um, foundation sometimes acts as a contour if it is blended properly. I have no contour on, but you can still somewhat see 
the dimension right here in my face because it was blended properly, right? But I'm still going, for the sake of this video, I'm still going to do some contouring. I'm going in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. This is in the shades Medium to Dark. But um, yeah, so I'm using an angled brush. And I just simply... Y'all, you know what? I'm not even ashamed. Y'all know my wig is barely ever glued down. It's just always flapping in the wind, okay? So it's about to stick like that for right now. Ain't no shame in my game. Y'all should be used to it by now. So anyway, I just go like so. Back and forth. Always start here so the bulk of the product can be up here. You don't want to have a dark contour down here, but we all been there before. We all made mistakes. So... And you can somewhat sweep it up just a little bit. Like that. That's all you need to do. Then you want to take your beauty blender and go back over the top to kind of clean it up. You can even go, just go all the way around it. Okay, just go like dab all the way around it. Now after you do that, you can also take your foundation brush again and just clean it up. Just clean it up, okay? Simple as that. Simple as that. Literally, that's it. Okay, so this next step right here, we're still in a contouring session, right? But we're just going to take the same contour brush and kind of flick right here alongside of the bottom of your chin. Real simple. You don't do the most. This helps bring definition back to your chin area. So, I don't know if y'all can tell that it made any difference, but... <laughs> I know it makes a difference when I do it and when I don't do it, my chin looks more slender. Opposed to when I don't do it, I look real double, okay? Miss Piggy. <laughs> Chocolate Miss Piggy, which Miss Piggy is definitely that bitch, okay? So, anyway, yes, yeah, so we just do that. Um, I honestly don't really contour my forehead, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to throw this brush up there a little bit, act like I'm doing something. <laughs> All right, so next. My favorite step, we have bronzing. Ooh, now this step right here is definitely optional for those of you who may not be into that whole bronze look, but this right here is definitely my go-to. Anyway, yeah, this is Fenty, and this is in a color Mocha Mommy. This is the darkest shade, I believe, and I love it. So look, I want y'all to see the before. Can you see? I mean, it looks good, right? But... I want y'all to see the difference that, you know, this bronze, you know, makes. Ooh, like, can you see? Y'all, I've been so worried about freaking bronze and I didn't forget the contour of my nose. So we're going to use the same um, palette. Okay, and then I also like to go back in with my, um, I told you I use my beauty blender and my foundation brush a lot. I like to go back in because remember we bronzed, I bronzed a lot, okay? So I'm going to kind of create, you know, take, and see, look, that's why I say you don't need any extra product, baby. All you need to do is just go back in. And blend. All right, y'all. So my camera did die. So I really apologize if the angle is different. I had to swap my bot um, my battery out. So anyway, on to the next step. Um, we are going to use our Sephora Micro Smooth, and this is in a color deep, which is number sixty. I do believe at the moment this is their darkest shade. It looks really light. It looks really light, as you can see. This looks like it's, it's for a light skinned caramel female, right? No. This is actually dark. Now, um, I know this area looks really nice and all of that. We want that. But you also do not want flashback. So, when you apply your powder, your finishing powder, underneath that eye, as you can see, it did tone it down some. You do not have to do the most. I just actually put like one layer on there and you're good to go. 
Now this is to, and then when I dab it in here, I do kind of shake it off or whatever to remove the excess powder. And you're just going to press that into those highlighted areas as well. And then the, um, the rest of your face, you can just pretty much blend and brush it in or whatever. But, um, yeah, like I said, this is to avoid flashback. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to be fixing my brows using the Crayon Case Eyebrow Pomade, and this is in the color Ebony. Okay, so next I'm going to be applying my lashes, and of course, I am using my lashes from the brand Cold Eye Candy, and these are in the style Hot Tamale. Okay, so now that we have our lips lined, we are going to, and you see what I mean? It's perfect, okay? This is the perfect liner. Like, you can honestly just add you some clear lip gloss and kind of blend that out just a little bit, just a little bit with the clear gloss. Excuse me, with some clear gloss and you will be set, okay? Yeah, the gloss I'm going to be using today, though, is my favorite gloss from Sephora. This is actually the Sephora brand. This is their Colorful Gloss Bomb, and this is in the color Soulmate number 28. Y'all, this used to be my favorite gloss last year. I don't know what happened. This is what we're going to be using today, and a little bit definitely goes a long way with this gloss. As you can see, it's very pigmented. Mm. So for my last and final step, we are going to be completely setting our face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And we are finished. So as y'all can see, this look came out great in my opinion. I really do freaking love it. Um, very sexy, very simple, yet sophisticated and every day. Like this is something that you can wear definitely every day. It does not take much effort. It does not take much money, okay? Because the majority of the products that I used was literally drugstore products. Now, a few of them, no, you cannot get them out the drugstore, but they aren't like extremely over the top expensive so yeah that pretty much wraps up this video you guys i really hope that y'all enjoyed it i really do hope that this video was very informative for you guys if i missed out on anything please feel free to let me know if you have any questions or suggestions let me know them those as well um yeah, I'm just super excited to have finally done this video for y'all. And yeah, I really appreciate you guys so much. Like I said, for those of you who are new, I thank you. I welcome you here. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also hit that subscription button as well as that bell. So that way you, you guys will be notified each and every single time your girl uploads a new video. And like I said, I do have a lot more content in store for you. I'm kind of um taking my channel into some different directions okay i'm going to dip and dabble in a few different areas and i'm going to see if you guys enjoy them i hope that you will i'm sure that you will so yeah that wraps up this video you guys i love you all stay safe and stay blessed and i look forward to seeing y'all in the next one <laughs>